Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about uterine sub-involution. So when we talk about uterine involution, when the involution of the uterus is impaired or retarded, that is what we refer to as uterine sub-involution. And the uterus is the most common organ that is affected in sub-involution. As it is the most accessible organ to be measured by abdomen, the uterine involution is considered clinically as an index to assess sub-involution. So what are the pre predisposing factors of uterine sub-involution? These include one, grand multiparity, having more than having five or more viable pregnancies. Then two, over distension of the uterus as in twins and in polyhydramnios. Three, maternal ill health for caesarean section. Five, prolapse of the uterus. Six, retroversion after the uterus becomes a pelvic organ. Seven, uterine fibroids. Then aggravating factors include one retained products of conception and two uterine sepsis, which we call endometritis. So the symptoms of uterine sub-involution include so one it may be asymptomatic, however the predominant symptoms are one abnormal local discharge, either excessive or prolonged, two irregular or at times excessive uterine bleeding, three irregular cramp-like pain in cases of retained products or rise of temperature in sepsis. So the signs, the uterine height is greater than the normal for the particular day of puerperium. Normal puerperial uterus may be displaced by a full bladder or a loaded rectum. It feels boggy and softer. Two, presence of features responsible for sub-involution may be evident. Then management of uterine sub-involution. So mere size of the uterus is not important and provided there is absence of features such as excessive lochia or irregular bleeding or sepsis, the size of the uterus can be safely ignored. Appropriate therapies to be instituted only when sub-involution is found to be a mere sign of some local pathology. So such as antibiotics can be used in endometritis, exploration of the uterus in retained products, pessary in prolapse or retroversion, and methadone is often prescribed to enhance the involution process is of little value in prophylaxis. So that's all about uterine sub-involution. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.